Two teams trying to stake their claim to postseason football. Week 14 of the NFL is underway. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Colts now coming out for their opening drive. And we get a glance here at their leader, the man who will be calling the plays at her center. It's pretty much become the norm when we see guys come out before a game and go through the route tree with their receivers. I thought it was exciting for us to see the exact same thing happen in practice. He's so, he's so meticulous, isn't he? He really is, and it's not. that tells me it's not just a one-time-a-week thing. They work on it all the time, trying to hone that fine edge. They want to see if they can get in sync and stay in sync in this one. And how about that? Big shot to start the game complete. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. 36 yards on the play. Well, there's a pretty big start right there. They go bombs away on the first play from scrimmage. Put a smile on your face, didn't it? Not because you're rooting for anyone, but that's the way to begin a game, to put someone back on their heels and announce that they plan to be aggressive. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Defensively, you know, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high powered, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points score gives yourself your be you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. But I think so because then you turn it into a shootout, and that means your offense has to keep pace. Come on, set 70, Indy. Right back to him on first down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. Quite the opening drive march they're on right now. It looks a lot like what we saw in practice prior to the game, doesn't it? You know, because on that last big practice beforehand, you go through your offensive script, you go through your play calling, you go through all the stuff and establish things, and it looks like it's going like clockwork right now for them. They'll look to throw now on first down. This will be caught at about the five. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. On second down, it's Newman. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. A great effort there with another touchdown, number 24 on the year. And the Colts take it right down and score on the opening drive. One of the keys to their long winning streak has been scoring first, an ideal drive right there, getting the first six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator? Remember oh, yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. So here come the Bucs under their new head coach, Bruce Arians. And a glance here at their quarterback standing six foot three. And what I enjoyed in preparing for this game was talking not just with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way and he sees himself in an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that and that's something he's gonna focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator said right off the top, he's got great footwork, love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. Now, Charles, what's the mindset here offensively? You gave up the touchdown pretty quickly. Would it have changed if you had gotten a stop and it would be 0-0 right now or no? I wouldn't think so. I think in most cases, just down a touchdown, you know, I mean, we're just getting started here. It should be a long way to go. You think to yourself, stick with the game plan, 
all the things you worked on in practice. But you have some teams that when they get down, their natural tendency is to aggressively strike back. And let's see if they want to get outside of the game plan we expect and try and be aggressive on their first series. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Back to throw, McDonald. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust and account for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Yeah, they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. On third down, McDonald. Throw left side complete. It's Stevens. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. That was a nice throw out there to the flat, but they defended that pretty well, though. Colts come after it, and they block it. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. The 30, 10, and he will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. In for the score. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. Partners, you well know, every block punt wasn't necessarily a called block. Sometimes the guy just finds his way back there. Doesn't matter. The play happens, and that one turned into six points because they handled it so well after the block. Now comes the kicking team here for the extra point. And it's good to make it 14-0. So the very rare blocked punt scooped and returned for a touchdown. What an exciting play. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. With the Bucks offense making their way back out on the field, let's take a look at the playoff picture, Charles, coming into the weekend in the NFC. As we take a look at the playoff picture, and certainly a lot of jostling still to go in these final few weeks. For the moment, they would be a wild card team, far from locked up, but that's why this is exciting. These last few weeks, a lot to play for. Yeah, exciting for us because we get to talk about it, and, you know, at the end of the day, Six teams are going to go from each conference, and guess what? We're going to have a playoffs. But nerve-wracking for all the people involved, all the teams, because their goal is to get there. And anything less than that makes the season a disappointment. So this is the, they've got to be primed now for a big finish to their season. To throw on second down, McDonald. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. Complete. A look there at the defensive starters for the Colts. 
They were terrific in the win over Tennessee a week ago. Have to admit, I was extremely impressed by what I saw. They ended up getting four sacks in the game, stayed in the face of the quarterback the entire time, made it difficult for him to step up and find receivers downfield. And that's what they told us this week, that pressure on the QB is key. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Second and ten. Incomplete. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. From the gun, McDonald. And he comes back with one complete. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They do get nine, but it leads to fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. Now on fourth down, Bruce Arians will send out his field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he's going to miss this one. That is no good. Well outside the left upright. And this score will stay right where it is. So an empty possession there. What do you think went wrong, Charles? Well, it looked like maybe the plant leg might have given way just a little. And when that happens, guys have a tendency to pull through the ball to compensate. And in doing so, set this one off target. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other downfield. I think running backs operate the same way. They can hit a good rhythm and a good stride, and he's carrying it over from last week. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. 60 out now. 47 On first down, Newman. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Second and five. That's complete. It's Bell. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. That one, a first down pickup of eight. He'll look to throw. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. Seven yards there and a first down. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Caught here by Bell. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. And we get a peek at the defensive starters, and it's a unit that really needs to do better than they did last week. So I would expect them to come out with a lot more emotion this week, flying around, trying to establish a new tone, because last week they didn't feel good about it all. Second and five after the five-yard completion on first down. Looking to throw. Fighting a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. A great play there. His 25th touchdown. Tying him at Smith for the fifth most in one season. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. Boy, these guys are off to the races, Charles. 20 to nothing already, extra point pending. Yeah, you always hear that term, they just boat race someone. Heck, it's car race, motorcycle race, plane race, whatever you want. Right now, they are sprinting past them. Point after try, forthcoming. It's good, and before you know it, it's 21 nothing. So this drive spans seven plays, and the result for the Colts is a touchdown. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. 
And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. 21-0 our score after one. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're down. We don't want to. No, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, the I think you just called the desperation time. I, I think did. you did. But <laughs> let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy after the loss to start out here second and 11 <laughs> operating from the gun mcdonald it's hill complete and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line 50 catches for him now on the year and he's got a first down On first and ten, McDonald, Robinson's got it. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Second and six. This is caught by Robinson. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Ten yards there and a Buccaneer first down. Looking to throw. McDonald, and his throw is incomplete. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Back to throw. McDonald. He is going to find Hill here. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 15 yards as Tampa Bay picks up the first. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up the first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get about five here as he'll take this down inside the 20-yard line. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. That one, a first down pickup of eight. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. From the gun, McDonald. They complete it to Hill. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. A gain of six there on first. In so many ways, throwing the hitch route is actually one of the safer things an offense can do. Get the ball out to the receiver as fast as possible. Hope he's got man-to-man -man coverage and hope that his athleticism wins on the perimeter. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. The Bucks on third down. Just one for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Remember, that was less than a yard. That was not a full yard. That defense, they were having none of it. Yeah, the surge the offensive line was seeking actually occurred on the other side of the ball. They reestablished the line of scrimmage and stuffed them. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. And his kick here is good. And the deficit drops now from 21 down to 18. 
So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back, and that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven forthcoming. A gain of three, second down. On second down now, it's Newman. A one-yard gain there following the three-yard pickup on first down. The play-action fake. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. It's been very much a slow start for them. Three drives and just the three points, CD. Yeah, if you're into the points per drive ratio, that answer is one. And that's not going to get it done in a ball game. They've got to find a way to finish these drives in end zones, not having balls go through goalposts. Throwing on first down, McDonald. Gets this one to Hill. Second and nine now from the 21. They'll try to left side. Cross. And he tried to bounce it outside, but they'll stop him behind the line. He lost two there, and it's third down. Plays like we just saw there, that's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the rest of the ball game. And that's what we're seeing here. They're actually playing in the offense's backfield, not necessarily just playing at the line of scrimmage. To throw on third down, McDonald. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. Here comes the Buccaneers punter now. And remember, he had his first punt blocked. football and it's picked up by the Buccaneers 30 touchdown Tampa Bay a big play there with his first career NFL touchdown and the Bucs are able to close the gap just a bit they haven't fully climbed the mountain, but they've started the ascent here with that score. I like that, right? They've, I think they've left base camp now, there okay? So they've started to move their way up the mountain. Long way to go, but at least they know it's manageable. Now for the point after. It's up and good, and the lead is down now at 11. It's 21 to 10. The scoop and score, always an exciting play in football, and we witnessed it there, grabbing it off the ground and then rumbling it into the end zone for six. 
And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This one taken just inside the 10. He's got the lane, and there he goes. And he will score. Touchdown, Indianapolis. He goes 91 yards on the kick return. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam and he got a full head of steam there. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. That one good for a 91-yard kickoff return for a touchdown. Caught it just inside the 10 at the 9, and his feet did the rest. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This is taken about 7 yards deep, and no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Looking for his running back, and he's got him. And he'll get this from the 25 to the 30 for a pickup of five. Looking to throw. McDonald. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Back to throw. McDonald. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Looking to throw. McDonald got his man complete over the middle. That's Stevens. The Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On first and ten, McDonald. That's complete to Robinson. And he gets it all the way down inside the ten and mark him at the five. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. It's been all passing all the time on this drive. Five for five, and now first and goal. Feels like a case of until they stop us, we might as well keep running the offense that we like to run. Don't change up and do something different just because you think you need to. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Back to throw. McDonald. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. A line of scrimmage once again, the five as they get ready for second and goal. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They've been denied touchdowns in the red zone twice already. Here comes third and goal. Operating from the gun, McDonald. And he's got it. Caught in the end zone, touchdown Tampa Bay. A five yard touchdown. And the Bucs are able to cut into that deficit. No surprise there. Third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, he tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead is down to 11 and 28-17. So that drive in total eight plays. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucs. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. 
And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's in for the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? Well, that is certainly a deflator right there defensively. Their guys just came off of a touchdown drive. They're back in the game, and then bam, they give up a touchdown one play later. How about that? And the momentum, which seemingly had shifted the other direction, thought we might be seeing a comeback. <laughs> that momentum right back the other way. Well, that is certainly not complimentary football that we saw right there. The defense is... You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This one fielded at the five. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start the third quarter. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the time. How many time. plays do you script coming out of the second most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave them with third and still seven yards to go. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Open man is Hill. He's got it. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. Well, it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route, and what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing, and they got it done. Got it. Mike's both both. Rip right, rip right. Let's go. Right. Throwing on first down. McDonald, it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I know exactly what's going to be said about that play from the defensive perspective. What's that? That's why I tell all you guys we need more than one tackler to the ball. He broke the first tackle. Luckily enough, there were more people there to get him down. Ready, ready. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. They'll run it now out of the gun. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Call it no gain that time, as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. Those are the plays this defense needs with the deficit they're facing. It certainly is, and they've got to continue to swarm the football and hope that someone, while they're holding up the ball carrier, can get in there and break it and lock it free. They need to get some takeaways as well. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Double tight, double tight. And he'll give it here to his running back. He's got a first down and much more inside the 20. And he's going to get it down to the 14-yard line. A big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. Those are the type of runs that we did not see from him in the first half, but a good start to the third quarter. And I know what everyone's thinking that's watching this. They did a great job adjusting at the half. Oftentimes, you don't make adjustments. You just dial into your game plan a little bit better, and maybe they're starting to make some headway. 15 runs. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's complete, right around the eight. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Second and three. 
Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Here comes play number nine now as they come up on a third and three. Looking to throw. McDonald, that's complete right around the eight. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. A pass for negative yardage, obviously no good. Maybe he shouldn't have thrown it, or maybe he shouldn't have caught it. I think we were seeing it at the same time, weren't we? Maybe you let that one go, right? Because you can see the lost yardage about to develop. But that goes against every instinct of a receiver. They're taught to catch everything. So it's really hard to be mad at him and yell at him for trying to make that play. Now on fourth down, Bruce Arians will send out his field goal unit. From the right hash here, should be an easy one. And his kick is good. And that'll get the deficit down to 15. So a good drive there to begin quarter number three, but they're only able to shave three points off the lead. Well, something's better than nothing, all right? They didn't play particularly well in the first half, but they definitely need him to step on the accelerator now and play a whole lot better. That's fielded in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here's the Colts now as they get ready for their first possession on offense of the second half. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. They'll run on first down. It's Newman. Ten yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. And never good on a pass completion there to go the wrong way. Lost yardage. No, for some reason, it seems to work better when you throw it downfield or you can move the ball downfield running it that way, doesn't it? But in this case, if you're the defensive guys, you're energized, executed well, and you caused a lost yardage play. That's going to feel good and look great in film. On third down, Newman. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. That one for Indianapolis resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Another fine carry from the NFL's rushing leader and quarterbacks typically dominating the MVP balloting, but I think you got to give this guy serious consideration, don't you? I agree totally. I mean, he's leading the league in rushing, and let's face it, partner, the running back renaissance in the NFL, it's real, and it's really helping teams along the way. He's a prime example. Got to give him strong consideration for MVP talk. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And give him six yards here as he's stopped near the 35 at the 34. They'll set up the throw. Wide open receiver complete. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. On first down, it's Newman. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Newman. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? He'll look to throw. A bullet throw, but incomplete. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out but a running game can really benefit your team right now. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow them to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let them get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And his kick is good. And that will make this now an 18-point ball game. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, 
that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. So, Charles, there are the numbers. What's happened here? Defensive adjustments that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we've got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. Call that a gain of five as the clock ticks inside of two minutes to go now in the third. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. It's a first down following a gain of three. Well, partner, none of these runs individually have added up to a whole lot. Now three plays, all three short runs, but together a first down. Yeah, it's amazing how the narrative changes when you string them together. Ready, ready. 60 Pittsburgh. Not that, sweetheart. Two. And to give this time to the tailback. And not a lot of daylight, not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. On second down, it's Cross. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little game. They'll keep it on the ground. Cross. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. So it's a quarter that saw these two teams trade field goals here as we've reached the end of three quarters of play. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Back to throw. McDonald over the middle complete. It's Stevens. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Looking to throw. McDonald, now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And they'll get him to the ground, and he has another first down at the Colts' 32-yard line. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. From the gun, McDonald. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second and one. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. They'll run on first down. It's Cross. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there. Second down. Off the play fake. McDonald. That is caught at the seven. And all the way down inside the five to the four. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now on the afternoon. Well, he does have one touchdown in the game already, and while this one won't go for six, it's enough to get him first and goal, but you and I both know he's going to be a little upset he didn't cross the goal line for a second time in this one. Might want the ball here on the next play. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. From the two now, second and goal. And he's in. Touchdown, Buccaneers. It's their quarterback. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Bucs are able to cut in now to that deficit. We saw so much of this last year at the college level, but there you go, his first rushing touchdown as an NFL quarterback. And with the speed he has, 
we certainly know it won't be his last because that's something that aided him very well, as you mentioned, at the college level. It's something he's going to carry over and then make it a big part of their offense. The extra point splits the uprights, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. That one was an extended drive, 14 plays all told. And it's culminated by a two-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Charles, you said earlier this defense is probably going to need to hold these guys right around 20 or under that if they were going to have a chance. It was evident pretty early on that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, they left 20 behind a long time ago in this game, didn't they? It looks like they're headed towards a big, big number. But 20 was the threshold because that kept them in the ball game and kept the pressure off of their own offense. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. Uh, he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of 11 that time and a Colts first down. Well, how about this aggressive approach? Got the lead, fourth quarter, continuing to throw the football. Are you thinking about Super Bowl 51? Atlanta had the lead against New England and they ended up giving it up. I was going to say, don't say it, but you did say it. I did, didn't I? Yeah, anybody watching Atlanta, our apologies. He's got a first down and then some at midfield. And down to the 29-yard line. And he's going to wind up getting this all the way down to the Buccaneers' 29-yard line. Well, it is our business to analyze what we saw out there. And on that play, I saw a defense staying in base, not taking a chance, not blitzing in a situation when they absolutely need the football back. That's either a case of overthinking it or not thinking it through. If you do blitz, do you have to be careful about where you're coming from, or are you just coming from all angles? You have to be careful about where you're coming from, obviously, but at this stage, you have to take a few chances as well. Right back to him on first down. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give the Colts 13 yards and a first down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. Set 60 Pittsburgh. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Now he's got his target. It's caught for a Colts touchdown. A 16-yard touchdown. And the Colts, they add on to their advantage. They had the lead in the fourth, but still passing. Finding the big target for the touchdown. Now that lead grows even more. Everybody gets to join in the fun. You know, it doesn't have to just be the wide receivers catching touchdown passes. The tight end doesn't just have to do just the dirty work inside. He gets a chance to get into the end zone as well. Point after, right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it culminates in an Indianapolis touchdown. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And that last drive was very, very balanced, pretty methodical. You think they go that route again? I'm always of the school that until they stop me from doing something, I'm going to continue. And I think that that's exactly what they'll look to do. But the beauty is the balance that they've created sets up opportunities for big plays. Looks like a run, turn into a play action, and throw one deep. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards on the play. You cannot write these guys off just yet, not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Operating from the gun, McDonald. 
And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing again. McDonald throwing middle, but it's incomplete. So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletion sets. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the close fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They'll get 10 there, but it leaves him just short for fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. That one complete to Hill. And I think the ball's out. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. Now, no reason not to try it there. And they do indeed convert on fourth. I don't know about you, but I could hear and feel the sigh of relief all the way up here in our booth. That was palpable. The sideline, the friend there. No doubt about it. Ball goes over the sideline, able to retain possession, no turnover. <laughs> I know his coaches are screaming, just hang on to the ball, man. On first down, McDonald. He finds Robinson. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Face mask. Defense. So give them the yardage on the pass and half the distance to the goal line. Because they're inside the 30. So now you don't march off the full 15, right? You have half the distance to the goal. In any event, that's precious real estate given up. So now then the penalty's got them set up with a first and goal. From the gun, McDonald toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Hill, the intended receiver once again, but it'll be second and goal. On second down now, it's Cross. They're able to get a couple here, but won't get across the plane as they stop it right around the one. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here? And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Tampa Bay. A great effort there. Hitting double digits with his 10th touchdown of the season. And the Bucs are able to close the gap just a bit. And Brad, I think we have to look back at the big call to go for it on fourth down. And yeah, that set up everything. And the end result, the short touchdown run. Yeah. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think every coach would have gone for it back there. You and I both know every coach would not have gone for it back there. So that's showing a little bit of faith, actually showing a lot of faith in his team, and it was rewarded. Extra point right down the middle, and that'll make this now an 11-point deficit. Two scores down, three timeouts left. Still a chance if they can somehow get this one back. Oh, I think the Bucs got it, and they did. Tampa Bay football. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They're in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. They need a touchdown, the two-point conversion, and a field goal. Pretty good start to the drive, though. Yeah, good start to the drive, but the urgency has to really be increased by both the players on the field and everyone on the sidelines. Got to make sure everyone is up and into this game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Operating from the gun, McDonald. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. To throw again, McDonald toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Back to throw, 
McDonald. And that will be incomplete as well. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Now on fourth down, Bruce Arians will send out his field goal unit. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And I don't think this has the carry. It does not. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And that one, an absolute backbreaker. A chance to get back within a score. Couldn't do it. Yeah, that one went begging, as they say, right? There's the opportunity, and it was missed. But all hope's not lost just yet. But, boy, getting back within one score would have been a powerful motivator for their defense to take the field with. And the Colts getting ready to go. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes his forward for about six. It's a six-yard gain on the ground and that'll make it second and four. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Newman. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Now this is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Newman. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Now a give, right side, Newman. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as they talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. On second down, it's Newman. And they'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. That one for Indianapolis, resulting in 15 yards and a fresh set of downs. Brett, and every great running backs coach I've talked with has always talked about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about run them into submission, uh, hasn't he? You took the words right out of my mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. He has run them into submission. Wave the white flag. Go. Now. That one looks like he'll throw here. And his throw here is incomplete. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. The Colts in victory formation now as they take the knee. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something. And they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this 